So smoking is obviously very bad for you, but I've heard that it's actually reduced the risk of developing Parkinson's. Is that true? And if so, what's the link? So this is true. And um, I used to think that, that this was re simply related to dopamine, that the people that smoke enjoy smoking because they get a huge dopamine release and it makes them feel better. And that people that had low levels of dopamine because they were destined to develop Parkinson's disease, they didn't get a dopamine release if they smoked cigarettes and therefore didn't bother. And, and so it wasn't the smoking which prevented Parkinson's. It's that if you were destined to get Parkinson's, you had no interest in smoking, and therefore never took it up. Um, I'm not sure if that's true. You, it may have a, a small contributory role, but it, it may also be that, that some of the chemicals that are involved in smoking do um, something to metabolize some of the environmental exposures that that, um, that you come across that might increase the risk of Parkinson's. So it might be a, a fortunate byproduct of smoking that, that you can detoxify other toxins which are going to cause Parkinson's. But it, the, 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 the truth of this is not very well understood. Um, the important thing to, to note is that smoking, of course, is a huge risk for lung diseases, for heart disease, for, for numerous other brain diseases. And so the advice has got to be, don't smoke. You're likely to, to die or, or suffer from lots of other things, you know, and that will far outweigh any advantage in terms of Parkinson's. If you're interested in finding out more about Parkinson's, subscribe for a new video every Thursday.